Hi, welcome back to the shop. Thanks for stopping by. This week's project, I'm turning a piece of wood I've never turned before, a species of wood I've never turned before. This is staghorn sumac. Uh, my son has a lot of these on his property and they're starting to get, you can see where the barks um, was really loose coming off this one. There is all manner of bugs. There's grubs, there's big ants, small ants, little uh, beetles and everything else. And you can see there was something cocoon living in here. I'm not sure if this is going to be sound enough. It seems like it's pretty good, uh, but on the ends at least, but I don't know how far in all this goes. I don't know how far in this goes, although it does look like it's quite a ways. What I'm gonna try and do is make some kind of a vase out of this. And, um, and I'm wearing gloves because it's pretty slimy here and black on the outside and I'm trying to keep that off me. But um, it had a branch here and the green coming around that branch looks really, really cool. And this as well and in here. So I'm thinking if it, if it is decent, and stays together. It should be some pretty, pretty cool figuring in this wood. Uh, the wood itself is kind of an olive color and you'll see that when we get the bark and get it knocked down. You can sort of tell by this, but it's got a really neat greenish yellow look to it. So I've been spinning this on the lathe for the past 10 or 15 minutes, hoping to uh, evict some of the critters that were in it. And it looks like, looks like that worked out okay. This side of the tree actually was still still pretty alive. The spark is, is still attached quite good. The tree was alive, actually, but surprisingly.
Here I'm just starting to make a tenon so I can put it in a four jaw chuck so I can get around and hollow at the end. So I sand this up to 320 grit and then I put on some sanding sealer and went on up to 800 grit. Uh, I just cut this tree uh, the morning actually and uh, turning it in the afternoon and evening so it's too wet to use Yorkshire grit on. So I wasn't happy with the depth that I hauled this out to, so I took a smaller forcer bit with my extension and I went down another couple inches. So um, the overall hollowing depth in this is just about 11 and a half inches.
I was going to put a Danish oil finish on this, but when I opened up my can of Danish oil and put some on a cloth, it came out, it was a really rusty color, so I didn't want to get that on. I'm not sure what happened to that, but so I decided even though it is green, I would take a chance and I used some Rust-Oleum spray lacquer, and that actually worked pretty good. I put about five coats on, and it, it seemed to finish up pretty nicely. Here I'm just going to finish off the bottom in the usual way. Uh, green and grain wood sands hard. It took a while to get this done. So thanks for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. I'll have some stills up at the end as always. Thanks again to all my subscribers. Actually, it's uh, June the 6th and today uh, the channel hit 10,000 subscribers. So I'm extremely grateful for, for that. So thanks to everyone. Thanks also to everybody who watches the videos. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And uh, leave a comment, thumbs up or thumbs down. We'll see you next time.